Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving. Giving me is greatly appreciated. And, you know, knowing that we can all connect in one way or another and we can totally do to relating to the crazy things that we're all you know manifesting and plus going through is is a blessing <laughs> to know that you're not doing dealing with it alone with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up, tell me about your impact, uh, empathic gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like um, the video has been very informative to you or it just gave you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one, a friend, or a fellow empath that's going through certain things, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on the social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for um, stopping by my channel and so, and so much support, which is greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today. Um, and the meditation music I'm listening to is called Awaken Your Inner Genius, Activating Higher Self Meditation. I will post, oh, and spiritual healing, uh, spiritual awakening and healing music, and I'll post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Oka's Receiving Enlightenment on, the, um, on an Emotional Level. I mean, we can get enlightened all the time, and it's just like... I really feel like um, for the last few days, I can just really look at things in a totally different perspective. You know how when we go through some really tough stuff, we can get upset. We're asking God, universe, why we got to go through this? This is just so messed up. This is not fair. And it's just like when you can finally look at things, step back when you're out of your emotions, when you're out of your feelings and step back and say, you know what? I see why I had to go down this rough road because it is just like when you know what you're benefiting from this hard time that you had to go through the love you have lost you know the people you have separated yourself from going down the rock bottom just you know just really going through some straight hell for you could be coming out and not even smelling like you know fire smoke sulfur whatever because we don't have our last you know four or five trips up to you know to hell and don't even come out smelling like that that's the beautiful blessing out of everything that's the upside to it, you know, because there's times I've, you know, I've asked universe, why did I have to go through this? It's just so hard. You know, I lost my family, you know, not really getting to know my family. I feel like an outsider, this and this and that. And it's like I was able to, you know, have my family, even, you know, I consider y'all my family, even we're not blood. I feel like we're connected through souls. Um, being able to meet a lot of people virtually, you know, all over the world to be able to connect and be able to help people. Um, knowing that the things that I went through was able to sacrifice, I, I sacrificed a lot of things to be able to help other people. Being able to go through, you know, some really hard times, hardship, just to be able to help others understand their hard, you know, the hard times in life. Being able to help them um being able to see things in a different perspective that's what hey Oka's do you know being able to help somebody you know they're like oh i went through this this and this and that you know and sometimes it's hard for us to take our own advice at times trust me there's times i get like that too and i have to go back and listen to my videos and it's like you you hear what you're telling them you have to be able to tell yourself that too um at times and, and it's just like it's a blessing to be able to do that and you know there's days when i sit up here and I get that confirmation. There's times I've, I've said it, you know, I've, you know, wondering, questioning the things that I do. Am I doing the right thing? Am I, am I doing enough for people? Can I do more? Um, am I on the right track? And it's just like I constantly get those confirmations all the time, the validations from the comments y'all leave me, from the blessings you're sending me right back. Those are the things that I live for. Those are the things that I feel very blessed for. I, I've gotten enlightenment in so many different ways. And be able to say my hardship 
was a blessing more than it was a real hardship because it had me looking at myself in a totally different light. Being able to look at myself in the mirror and saying, I'm proud of who the person I became. I'm glad I molded myself this way. You know, I'm glad God has put me in a certain, you know, tragic, tragic situation to form me back and mold me and form me into a beautiful person that I never thought I could ever be. You know, being able to see myself in so many different ways is in, you know, my family always tried to make me seem like I was a loser or, you know, I was spoiled or anything like that, that was not in a good light. And when I finally see, you know, the real me, not from what they painted me off to be, um, was a beautiful person. You know, it's just like, it's sad, you know, when, when, you know, I used to remember my family just constantly, you know, even before people would meet me, they would say hi to me and all of a sudden they go over there and they start talking to my family and all of a sudden I start getting these little dirty looks and, you know, all this and that. And I'm just wondering, what did these, what did he, what did they say about me? But it's just like, when you know your light shines so bright, you know, people try to, you know, emulate, you know, whenever you emulate something very special, they'll try to, you know, they can't handle what's right about you. They will throw out whatever is wrong about you for people to look at you a certain way. And then when I can finally see me for who I am and not worry about what my family put on me, it was a true blessing to be able to say, you know what, I'm not nothing that they painted me out to be. You know, in somebody's story, you're always going to be a villain towards something. But you know, when you're a black, you know, if you're the black sheep of the family, most of the time, the black sheep of the family is always telling the truth. You know, so being able to do all those things and see myself in the light that I am, you know, I painted myself out to be. I don't care what other people think of me is how I see myself. You know, I can have that confidence in myself, see the strength within within me that I have, being able to open up and tell people and don't worry about what other people think, but knowing my story can help somebody. My experience that I went through can help somebody else heal and grow from there. You never know, like I tell y'all all the time, you never know what your story, your life story can do to help somebody else break out of that prison that they had of a life of hardship out of the dark place that they feel like they can't get themselves from. It's like when we're stuck in a certain place, it unless you are physically in jail, you know, being in a certain situation is like your 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 negative thoughts, your your process is, is just how you you're not having that faith within yourself that I'm gonna get out of this situation. It might be somewhere you don't want to be right now, but if you know you're working hard and doing the things you can do to get yourself out of certain situations, it will happen. You know, and it's always gonna be when you least expect it. You know, and I, I said I'm not where I wanna be right now, but I know I'm working hard and doing my part. You know, I can't work you know, universe is already doing things, you know, for me that I don't know about, you know, I just keep faith that, you know, nobody can sit up here and put something on me, you know, that God is not going to have open doors for me, you know, doors are going to open that no man can't shut anyway for you, and you have to believe that within yourself, and I, I, I firmly believe that, you know, and it always took me, mom always used to tell me, you know, Rosalind, you need to have faith and stuff, stop saying that these things won't happen for you, you know, you're contradicting yourself, and my mom was right for that. So it's just like looking at the things that I'm going through now. There's times I sit here and cry and I say thank you. I see why I had to go to do the things that I had to go through because it brought me so much strength. It made me so much wiser than I ever thought I could be. You know, the things I wanted to do, I thought I had to go to school and get degrees for. All I had to do was just live my life and tell my story about the things that I went through. Because if you can go through so much hell and be able to live from something that was meant, sent to break you, People are put in my life to test me in every way, which way possible. I've been broken down in every kind of way I could be and still can wake up the next day. And if somebody needed my help and I know I could do it, I could do that. And that's a blessing when you can be able to put your feelings aside about the things that you're going through and reach out and help somebody. Because you never know. I mean, it makes me feel good. I might not be able to fix my, my physically fix what I got to get out right now. I could, if I could, I would have been gone. But then it, it's just like when you when you wish that you never gone through all the things you should never look at your mistakes or your setbacks and say oh I wish I never went through that because if you didn't you wouldn't be able to know the true person you are today you wouldn't be able to see what you are capable of um, being able to see how far your faith and how far your strength would pass about any measures 
you know, being able to do that is a true blessing. So take that enlightenment, take that that situation that you're in, and see all the strength that has brought you. Even though you there might have been many a days you don't cry and ask God, please take me out of this situation, but you have a reason for going through the things you're going through. It has tested your faith on many levels. It has tested your strength on many levels. You know, um, your patience on many levels, but it, you learn things about yourself that you never thought you would learn. It's bringing up things that you never thought you could heal from, and you're letting go of things that you, you thought you were going to have to hold on to forever. When we hold on to our issues like a, a security blanket, it's not meant for us to do that. When you can be able to let go and say, you know what, I'm not going to allow these things to keep hurting me. This is what happened to me years ago, or this is what happened to me last week. You should never hold on to something that, that happened yesterday, because yesterday is not coming back. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I love y'all so much. I hope y'all have a blessed Sunday, and you know, you have a prosperous re week ahead, and like and subscribe. Let me know. Drop a line if you, you've been getting that that um, enlightenment to where it is really got you emotional, but it's happy emotions. You know, let me know, you know, if you've been seeing things in a different light and seeing why you had to go through the things you went through. And I will talk to y'all later. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Um, drop me a line so I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. Um, let me see. Okay. Christ Jones won a... Uh, Anaya, I think it is named Anaya, um, and Ray Fisher, and uh, Kissa Kitty 831. Much blessings to you, and I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. So I pray for y'all each and every day. And stay blessed, stay prosperous, and out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can, you know, and you can get that back in return. And I'll talk to you later. Much love. Peace. Be wild.